Shanghai, many say it's China's showcase city. It's fast and furious. With disposable incomes on the rise, this city is packed with action, and I want a piece of it. Now, the food, style, buzz, pizzazz, and all that jazz is what sets this place apart. And in this episode, it's all about decadence. We're going to paint the town red and go large and enjoy Shanghai's buzzing nightlife, rain or shine. Shanghai is undoubtedly the most vibrant city in the country. On both sides of the iconic Huanghu River, it's awash with glamour, decadence, and anything remotely hedonistic. A 24-hour city that never sleeps. It guarantees to keep you partying till dawn. That's Shanghai, rising tall, probably well above your expectations. And the best way to soak up Shanghai's dazzling night views is from on board the ferry. I got my ferry ticket, and it's time to jump on board. Oh gosh! God, I can just smell the sea of anticipation just in the air. I think people are just waiting to jump on board. As you can see, there's a long queue over there. So if you're late, there's no chance of getting on board. You'll want to be punctual and on time. The one-hour ride down the Huangpu will only set you back about 100 RMB. Well worth for a unique introduction to the city. Well, I can't wait to meet my good friend Yulei. He promised to show me the spectacular nightlife that Shanghai has to offer, and he's probably on this boat right now. So let's go. Hi, Greta. I'm in the middle of the top deck. Where are you? Hi. How good. How are you? Good. So good to see you here. Yeah, me too. So excited. Yeah. What do you have in store for me? I promise you the best spectacular night of Shanghai. Wow. I can't wait. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is Pudong. See, the tallest building in China. Wow. Do you know what? This looks like New York to me. Yeah. The city had this river like. New York has Hudson,、yeah. Paris has、uh, the Seine.、Yeah. You know, these all these buildings. What do we call the exhibition of international architecture? The bun features some outstanding European-style buildings. Some of them erected in the 1930s. They are among Shanghai's most legendary landmarks, forming a classic backdrop for a moonlit photograph. Next up, the grandiose symbol of commercial might that is the bun. If you don't have enough time in Shanghai, if you have only one day, the Bund is a place you must come. Okay. It's great in the daytime, but it's very spectacular at night. Yeah, I can see that. Lots of lights. Yes, and also it has lifestyles. You can find restaurants, bars,、uh, luxury shopping, art galleries. Almost everything you can experience in Shanghai. This is Bund 18. Oh, lovely. What what is it? And it is a historic building turned into a lifestyle center. Wow! Look at that.、Yeah. Look at those、uh, pillars. These are original marble pillars、uh-huh. when the building was built、uh, 87 years ago. So they kept the original columns over here. Yeah, and when they also, you know,、uh, create some you know, very contemporary feeling by adding these you know,、uh, modern elements. Is this a special designer? Yeah, this is designed by the、uh, architect of this building.、Uh, Italian guy called、uh, Filippo Gabbiani. Fantastic. This is a gallery. Right. It really looks lovely. So they don't, you know, they they invest in art in this mall as well. Yeah,、um, I think the investors are trying to create some culture and art atmosphere in this heritage building. Not only this luxury shopping, you see、right. Cartier things. Like this gallery has some classic works. While they have another gallery on the upper floor、uh, mm-hmm. that will display contemporary artworks. Open from noon to midnight every day, the gallery space features new shows every month and hosts book signings and art talks. High-end luxury shops and modern art decoration are a staple at Bun 18, which is a 1923 column-fronted building in the popular neoclassical style. 
it has established a new benchmark for cultural appreciation, even winning the 2006 UNESCO Asia Pacific Heritage Award, which reminds me it's time to award myself a dinner. Thank you. Yeah, this is my favorite restaurant at Bund. Wow. It has an interesting name called Heaven and Earth. You know, this building is one of the oldest at Bund. If you, if you look at the window, these windows are original style. Wow. Do you know what? I, I could see how it's so steeped in history. Having satisfied one of your senses with unrivaled Cheers. panoramic view of Huang Pu, you can tantalize your taste buds with some exquisite food. This dish is foie gras with the local green beans. Wow. Actually, this uh, goose liver, the foie gras, is marinated in Japanese sake, while the green bean is marinated uh, with the local Chinese rice wine. I'm feeling it right now. It's very flavorful. You know, when you just said the rice wine, can just feel it bursting through my palate. This is quite interesting. After dinner, Yule decides to show me an up-and-coming dining area that has only recently opened. Cool, what's this? Yeah, this cool box. They turn all the warehouses into <laughs> restaurants, bars and uh, nightlife place. Fantastic! You can see so many choices here. I know man, top quality. Yeah. Check it out. Lao Mato or Old Port sits right beside the Huangpu River and it's just a stone's throw from the bun, a mere 10-minute ride by taxi. It's been converted from an old factory into a newly minted dining and party area. From its sleek bars to its Michelin two-star restaurants, mouth-watering food fare can be found in every corner of the Red Brick Courtyard. There's even a warehouse that's used for trendy events, parties and fashion shows. I had no idea that my lovely director and crew had set this up. And it makes me think that it's not so much how far we travel in life that matters, but who we meet along the way. And it's moments like these that put a place firmly in the map of my heart. When the sun goes down, Shanghai is lit up with a plethora of shows that will keep you thoroughly entertained. This is a city where every nook and cranny seems to produce some form of artistic output. So be sure to check out the listings in a district near you. The art scene is thriving here in Shanghai and you can catch anything from theatre shows to plays. Now if you've only got a limited time only, you have to check out Shanghai Circus World. So much human twirling energy have been poured into this multi-million dollar production. I am going to be entertained. It's showtime. Chinese acrobatics is slow becoming a dying art form. But it has been cleverly resuscitated in this East meets West circus performance. That's ERA. Given a modern touch, it has become a perfect blend of performing arts. The chemistry is too intense to be duplicated between this pair. Their fiery passion on stage extends to their real life as they're happily married. You'll be holding your breath while you count the number of bikes getting in. In fact, a total of eight bikes climb one by one into the death-defying cage. The show lasts two hours and is on 365 days a year. The tickets range in price from 80 RMB to 580 RMB. This has got to be one of the best shows I've ever seen in my life. There was like drama, passion, crazy.
crazy son. They were like at one point one step away from death in that cage. This is such a spectacular show. You have to see it. How did you like the show? It was fantastic, really. Everything was beautiful and everything was very excellent. Very good, very impressive. I loved it very much. After experiencing the element of danger and surprise, I was ready to calm myself down and meet Yule for dinner. I am starving. What are we going to have for dinner? Well, you know, Shanghai is famous for a lot of food, particularly street food. We have Xiao Long Bao Zi, which is steamed dumpling. We have Shen Tian Man Tou, is a dumpling deep fried. Oh God, that sounds so bad, but it's good for you. We also have soy sauce noodle. But tonight, I think I'm going to bring you to a very authentic Chinese food restaurant. Authentic Chinese food restaurant. You know what? That sounds really good. I don't really care because I'm starving. But but one big question: Is it made with love? You will find it out. <laughs> All right. And boy, the Yule have a surprise for me that exceeded all my expectations. How special this place is! Wow, this place looks like it's created some—I don't know—it's stuck 20 years ago. Yeah, even the food tastes like 20 years ago. Are you serious? The menu's here. Let's go and take a look. Okay. Look. Wow. Today's menu. So this is the menu. Yes, today's menu. It has cold dish, hot dish, even dessert, and the drinks are on this menu. Is it traditionally Shanghainese as well? Yes, definitely. If you look at all those dishes, most dishes use、uh, soy sauce to cook.、Um, it means the food is a bit sweet,、mm. um, a bit greasy, but very, very delicious. Of course, yeah. Some some of the best things that's good for you is just like really bad. Yes. Ashan Restaurant is run by Ashan himself, and I pop by his humble office, which is a sweltering and stuffy kitchen. Ashan 师傅，哎，这就是 ，This is Ashan. Oh, hi, 你好，对不起打扰了你。Hi, hi. 哇，你在这边煮了多久呢？二十几年了。二十几年了。那那你是唯一的厨师吗？哎哎，只有你一个人。就是我一个人。哇。那你最喜欢吃的是什么呢？红烧肉。红烧肉。烧肉这就是红烧肉。哦，谢谢你，谢谢。这就是红烧。What is 红烧 ？I'm gonna. Yeah, this is the pork ribs. They cooked in the soy sauce,、mm -hmm. uh, with little sugar, and very delicious. Oh gosh, it smells really good. So basically, this is pork grease, soy sauce,、yes. oil, and sugar. Yep. Hmm. How's that? It's. A guilty pleasure. Really, really good. It's crazy. Try some. Hmm. Well, this is good. Very good. Oh my goodness. Shanghai cuisine open bar is a melange of food of neighboring provinces. The first settlers brought their traditional flavors along with them, and this is what Ashan does best. Though the restaurant looks old, locals come here in drones because it reminds them of their grandmother's home cooked food. Ashan personally cooks each and every dish by himself. That's why it can be a little pricey, but it's worth it. Yeah, as they say, a good face is like a letter of recommendation. I highly recommend that you drop by Ashan's restaurant. Opposite Shanghai Zoo, Ashan has a loyal clientele of A-listers from the film and entertainment industry. That attention has undoubtedly made him a celebrity in his own right. And if dinner was a throwback to old Shanghai, here's an activity that will definitely transport you back to the roaring 1930s. You know, ballroom dancing. Was very popular pastime in 1920s, 1930s.、Right. If, you, if you look at these poses, the famous actresses、um, and even dancing girls in that time, and、uh, this Parliament uh, dancing uh, ballroom dancing nightclub、right. was where the well-educated, the wealthy people always frequented at the night. Like this time, 9:30, it's fully packed. I can't believe it. There are people who are like the age of my mother and my grandmother who are dancing really energetically right now. Yes. Is this is what Shanghai was all about in 1930s. Yes.
Yes, like uh, what Zhou Quan sang in the night, Shanghai. Remember the song? Yes, Shanghai. Yes, Shanghai. Yeah, Shanghai. that's kind of the same feeling. Okay. Shall we dance? All right, sure. Yeah. The Paramount Ballroom is a grand old lady who has seen and done it all. Here, you get a glimpse into the once very opulent past. As in the 1930s, it was the meeting place for Shanghai's elite. As one of the most notorious entertainment venues during that decadent era, its clientele included gangsters, privileged and wealthy people, and dancing girls. But today, expect some good, clean fun with middle-aged and elderly folk reliving past glories. <laughs> Shopping is not just a necessity here; it's a popular pastime. The girls are well known for paying extra attention to the comfort of their material needs, and they're invariably decked out stylishly. This is Nanjing Road, and you know what? If you came here about a hundred years ago, the scene would be the same: lots of spectacular lights and tons of people just shopping away. Now, this is one of the first places that you could find foreign products, and it is a shopping paradise. Still feels the same way today, so it'll probably be your first stop if you're in Shanghai and you wanna just spend some of that cash. Come along with me as we enjoy the spirit of shopping. East of Nanjing Lu is where you'll find one of Shanghai's oldest shopping establishments. Over in the west, on the other hand, is where Shanghai's chic people gather to engage in some high-end retail therapy. The selection here is known to be better than any other cities, as Shanghainese are very picky over their merchandise and demand only the best. This is Xu Jiahui. Now, if you're looking for electronics, you can head on over there to the Globe. But if you're looking for posh designer products, you can't live without your bags. Then you gotta go to Oriental Plaza. Now, there's a place to be seen for trendy people, and that's Grand Gateway. But if you're just a normal person like me, you gotta hang out in one of those malls at the back because they've got good, affordable prices. So let's go shopping. You can find big, trendy malls and speciality shops all neatly tucked away in the same area. Now there are cluster shops that also cater to a specific demographic of the population. It might feel like it's a special occasion with all the street decorations, as if Christmas is just around the corner. But it's just another day, and the Shanghainese spare no expense when it comes to the intricate details. And it's chow time for me right now, as Yu Lei just got off work. Where are we gonna go? Somewhere special. Ooh, I like special. Is it food? No, something more than food. Authentic. I really like the flavor of everything. It's just kind of. I feel like I'm just stepped back in time. Yeah, it's like you're going back to the 1930s Shanghai. Oh gosh, looks fantastic. You know what? I think I can't wait for this experience yeah. tonight. Okay. Typical kind of opera performance sets and form of entertainment, and I don't know, back in the days in yeah. Shanghai. You know what? This building was a very、uh, big department store in the 1920s and 1930s. There was a theater in this building.、Mm -hmm. You know, at that time when people came out at night, they came to shopping. After shopping, they would come here to watch the performance of local operas. Wow. You know what? This is a lot better than watching the movie. Yeah, it was really entertaining. This restaurant looks part of a vintage movie set, mimicking the city's old world glamour. 
The food selection here is painstakingly handpicked from all over the country. It consists of only the best from each area, and it's a little pricey, but well worth it. To ensure that you don't get lost in translation, the restaurant even provides English subtitles to the lyrics of the Kun Opera. Belly school, it's time to take on Shanghai's pumping party scene. Yeah, jazz is very typical Shanghai entertainment.、Uh -huh. If you look for something like old band stuff, you can go to the Peace Hotel to、uh -huh. check the old guys' jazz band. If you're looking for some contemporary,、uh -huh. check out the Jay Z. What if I want some high octane, heart pumping action? Well, the upcoming place <laughs> is Xintian Di. There's also bar strip on Hanshan Lu. If you're looking for some really good DJ stuff, you can check out Park 97 Muse. Wow, that sounds really exciting. Yes. Yu Lei has given me the lowdown on what's hot in this city. I choose to head out to the upscale Xintian Di district. Xintian Di means new heaven and earth, and it's an area of restored shikumen or stone gate houses lining narrow alleyways. I reckon it must be like the land of milk and honey, filled with boutique shops, swanky restaurants, and some of the best bars. You can sample both 1920s Shanghai and a more modern approach to entertainment. Brown Sugar is the sweetest and latest jazz club to join the crowd, and I'm going to check it out. How this became a part of a plan, but I was enticed up on stage. The international bands here will include you in the party, and you might well be transformed from a face in the crowd to one facing the crowd. Good time and felt just like a rock star. It might have only lasted for all of five seconds, but it's all I need. After the high octane action, we decided to take a chill pill at an exclusive lounge, and there's something totally unexpected twirling in the middle of the terrace. The aptly named View Bar is located on the 32nd and 33rd floors of the new Hyatt on the Bun. It offers spectacular views of the city and a breathing space to、yeah, kick back and relax. Wow, <laughs> that's a jacuzzi right in the middle of the bar. Yeah, imagine dive the jacuzzi with the <laughs> champagne to have a wonderful fun night. That's a crazy night out.、Oh, wow, it's really warm as well. I guess that's what they mean when they say bubbly fun. Yes,、Goodness. and from here you can see. Puxi, the old part of Shanghai, together with Pudong, the new part of Shanghai. Oh wow, this is amazing! I can't imagine, you know, just from this bird's eye view, you get a sense of how big the city is and how beautiful. Thanks so much for taking me here. Yeah, this is my favorite place. I'm so happy to bring you to here to fully appreciate the night of Shanghai. You can see both. New and old of the city, top of the world.
top of Shanghai. Yes. If Shanghai is famous for one thing, it's the seemingly endless soirees and its residents' healthy appetite for enjoyment. So forget whatever baggage you're carrying around with you and just lie back and let yourself be immersed in Shanghai's spirit of celebration. I've had three wonderful nights here in Shanghai, but it just doesn't feel enough to fully savor what the city has to offer. Now, Shanghai is known as the Paris of the East, and I couldn't agree more. Standing right on top feels like an amazing experience, and it's such a great way to end this trip on a high note. Now, if you're in Shanghai, you cannot miss this place. This city has everything from the ultra chic to down to earth joints. It's exploding with nightlife. It's truly a world-class party city, and with the little that I've tasted, it's really begun to whet my appetite for more. This is Travel Log, and I'll see you the next time. Of it. Now the food, style, buzz, pizzazz, and all that jazz is what sets this place apart. And in this episode, it's all about decadence. We're gonna paint the town red and go large and enjoy Shanghai's buzzing nightlife, rain or shine. Shanghai is undoubtedly the most vibrant city in the country. On both sides of the iconic Huanghu River, it's awash with glamour, decadence, and anything remotely hedonistic. A 24-hour city that never sleeps. It guarantees to keep you partying till dawn. That's Shanghai, rising tall, probably well above your. Shanghai, many say it's China's showcase city. It's fast and furious. With disposable incomes on the rise, this city is packed with action, and I want to pay expectations. And the best way to soak up Shanghai's dazzling night views is from on board the ferry. I got my ferry ticket, and it's time to jump on board. Oh gosh! God, I can just smell the sea of anticipation, just in the air. I think people are just waiting to jump on board. As you can see, there's a long queue over there. So, if you're late, there's no chance of getting on board. You'll want to be punctual and on time. The... I promise you the best spectacular night of Shanghai. Wow! I can't wait. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah. Wow! Yeah, this is Pudo. Tallest beauty in China. Wow! Do you know what? This looks like New York to me. Yeah, the city has this river like New York has Hudson, yeah. Paris has uh, the Seine. Yeah. You know, these all these buildings. What do we call the exhibition of international architecture? The bun features some outstanding European-style buildings. Some of them erected in the ninth. One-hour ride down the Huangpu will only set you back about 100 RMB. Well worth for a unique introduction to the city. Well, I can't wait to meet my good friend Yulei. He promised to show me the spectacular nightlife that Shanghai has to offer, and he's probably on this boat right now. So let's go. Hi, Greta. I'm in the middle of the top deck. Where are you? Hi. How good. How are you? Good. So good to see you here. Yeah, me too. So excited. Yeah. What do you have in store for me? 